Boom, guys, we are back and super stoked about some fixed blade action. Actually, our most popular um, video most for the for the time it's been out, right? Yeah. Um, so apparently you guys really dig the fixed blade stuff, and today's subject matter is pretty awesome. Um, urban fixed blade carry, and I think the, the format that we're going to take are our top choices, and then we're going to give kind of a more um, budget oriented yeah. honorable mention so kind of like if you could do the ultimate carry purpose driven you know uh, i'm gonna find a way to carry this knife. yeah i would say it's like the they're not always gonna be the most convenient on no, the fixed blade we're no. not really going for like the edc this is more like hey if you were doing urban fixed blade carry this is what i would recommend Right. It's kind of like what makes the best, like what are some features that make for a good urban carry fixed blade? And out of yeah. our collection um, here at the clip point, you know, what, what would we pick as our fixed blade out of what we have? Um, and it's kind of interesting. It's, it's interesting to kind of think about because you got a couple things, a couple bases to cover with that. You know, obviously self-defense, I think is the first thing when you're thinking about carrying a fixed blade. Yeah. Especially an urban fixed blade. That's um, kind of the idea, right? I, you're not really going to pull it out for much anything other than no. That, really. that would be that would be EDC unless it was an emergency, like maybe a car accident. And you needed the leverage of a fixed blade or something of the sort. Yeah, who knows? Um, but, but definitely a thoughtful. You could even do urban carry, um, backpack carry with these. Oh, that's interesting. I just noticed that on that. Yeah. They so well, let's kick off. Yeah, that, we'll do right? it. So what, what is yours? All right. So this is the Alpha, the SOCOM Alpha Mini by Microtech. Tonto um, Blade. Yep. Tonto Blade M390. It is a serious chunk. Um, and uh, yeah, this would be sort of the kind of ultimate for me. And it's a, you know what? It's a budget Microtech. Um, this is a pretty inexpensive knife. It's about 260. Yeah. Um, maybe even less than that. Um and you know, let's check and see. You know, oh, look, she is sharp. That was my fault on the cut there. But yeah, slicey dicey right out of the box. Um, very very sharp knife. It is Microtech. Let's see if it'll do a. Uh, let's see if it'll do a standing paper cut. Hmm. That's a yes. Well, oh, and that wasn't that it cut in half. <laughs> so um yeah that's my choice and and the reason for it is a lot to do with this guy here mm -hmm. and um it comes with the um what, what do they call these clips um oh i forget <laughs> lord have mercy we're gonna shoot a video do your research boys um i forget what these clips are called yeah you can buy them yeah uh, uh, and so it's actually a different company that makes them it's, uh, yeah it's a third it's dots um makes this particular version um but what's nice about this is is that it actually has depending upon the belt that you're running especially for urban carry you're not always going to run a tactical duty belt this would be a great duty knife um tech lock tech lock and um you can actually take this piece out this little plastic piece and throw it across the room. It's a Blade Tech Tech Lock. And um, you can choose how you want it to ride and what thickness of belt you have. Yep. It has these little openings here and you can fit a two inch belt and even thinner. So, um, you know, really, really dig it. It's a cool blade because it's Microtech. It actually did come with a lanyard pull, which I do enjoy. Um, and I totally stole this idea from Josh, but it's from ZNC um, Metalworks, and it is a spool pull uh, micarta. It's it's a it's game huge. Changer. It's massive, and it gives you that that pinky pull, so you can get a hold of it and a guaranteed pull. Um, the other piece is is the most important part after the blade would be the sheath and the style of carry. Um, and, and you have multiple angles you can do. It's just up to you how you want it. The piece that really got me was the thumb ramp design that Microtech paid attention to a stealthy release. When you stick your thumb in here, it separates the kydex mm -hmm. and, it, and it makes the kydex lose its detent. And you can slowly draw that knife, and it's pretty dang quiet. Yeah, it's, uh, and you see, right, and that's the thing with, like, an urban carry, right? You kind of have to figure it out for you. And it changes based on what you're wearing, and, and we just had a conversation about it, actually, um, as far as, you know, 
And it's there. a big knife. I mean, it's a four inch blade, you know, and we're talking, it is um, over eight inches overall. So it's not, yeah. This is a purpose urban carry, right? It and, is. And, and we'll get to the honorable mentions, which are, um, you know, easier to conceal. Right. You can conceal these, but you have to work a little bit at it. Right. And, you know, so he's he's been carrying this scout carry, as you can see. Um, but depending on what you're wearing, you might have to change it up a little bit. We, we kind of discussed it. You know, it does kind of slip out a little bit more when you carry it like this. Um, and that's something that I noticed on mine, which mine, which we just did a review on it, so uh, we'll link that above, is the RMJ U-Cap. And this actually came with uh, loops for Scout Carry built onto the sheath. I removed those and added an Ulti-Clip um, XL because I don't prefer to carry mine uh, Scout Carry after I tried to do it Scout Carry and I didn't like it. Um, yeah. I like to carry it inside the waistband with a cant so I can just reach down and grab it with my you know, off hand. Offhand. Yes. And um, again, you know, you were mentioning the thumb ramp there. This one also has that where you can, you know, quietly remove it and uh, just, you know, stealthy, black, yeah, nasty edge. This is a much chunkier setup as well. And you can kind of see sort of everything is just bigger on the uh, on the Microtech. It's just thicker. Um, the Kydex is thicker than this. Um, you know, it's heavier. This is 11 ounces. Um, and for a carry here on the RMJ, I mean, substantially lighter, eight and a half, right? And, you know, so and that's you can't, yeah, and you can't go wrong. I mean, they're both, you know, look, the RMJ has actually got a longer blade. I didn't know. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it's like um, four and a half um, versus right at four. But the Microtech has a longer handle. It does. Right? So it's just... A little bit different philosophy between the two, but the purchase is great on both, and they're both awesome, and they're both about the same price. Yeah. So it's kind of really up to what you want. Um, you know, we're both huge Microtech fans. We're both RMJ fans, and so there's not a right or wrong answer. And we can, you know, it's so stinking sharp, and we'll do the standing paper cut. Um, oh. Sorry. We know it doesn't because we just did it. I did it earlier. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. Let me get a fresh piece of paper. This is ridiculous. It's uh I literally just did it. There it yeah, goes. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it's gonna do it. So it's okay. uh but yeah, it's sharp right out of It's the box. a whole philosophy with you know the the philosophy behind carrying an urban EDC is to be able to conceal your blade, whether it be under a coat, under a shirt. Um, whatever it may be. And you also have to think about the different seasons, right? So, you know, it might be a little bit different what you're going to carry in the summer versus the winter. If there's a climate issue where you're at. Um, and for us, you know, being in a state that is, you know, obviously you got to abide by your state's laws. Um, but our state's sure. pretty generous when it comes to laws with knives and things. So, um, a lot, I like to have it to where it's concealable because you don't want that attention you know, when you're in an area. I agree. You want to kind of be discreet and not standing out. You know, you're not trying to be tactical guy there with a fixed blade. Yeah. But in some situations, I feel more comfortable having a fixed blade versus a, you know, OTF or, you know, a Emerson or, or whatever it may be. So that's kind of the mindset with an urban carry. Is, is It's not like a rural carry where you can just wear it out on your belt and it's fine. You know, if you're in the country or out west somewhere. Yeah, then it's more about what am I doing? It doesn't fit right my needs for what I'm trying exactly. to accomplish, right? And, you know, I think one of the things about a knife is a knife can be too big um, just because it becomes unwieldy. Right. Now, if your purpose isn't self-defense, it's knife fighting, then you need to carry a gun. Right. Because you don't want to be knife fighting. No. There is no knife fighting. No. Carry a gun. <laughs> yeah. So th that's kind of the, the odd thing about some of the larger knives out there. And I have some big knives um, and I have them on my Molly yeah. gear, but it's, it is for that purpose. Right. Like not rule of law. Rule of law is what we're talking about. Urban carry rule of law, walk on the streets today. I think we hit max in my opinion. I don't yeah, think I you can go, go any, any bigger. bigger. Like you'd be, like, for instance, this on the side is probably better just because of its height. Um, you could do offhand, you know. Right, and that's the, that's what I kind of like with this. If you notice, my 
ulti clip here, it kind of goes with the sheath. It's got an angle to it. Yeah. So when that's on my belt, I actually carry it more like this. Yes. Um, so it's kind of, uh, it goes with my torso. It's more concealed. And then you've got that quick offhand um, and you can and pull it. And the philosophy is offhand carry with a fixed blade is, is the philosophy right. for pistol carriers. Um, right. Because if you're ever in a tussle, you don't want a gun in the tussle to come out. Um, you want it to be where it is. It's not ideal. Um, and what is ideal, though, is offhand and being able to draw offhand and make your, your movements offhand. And, you know, you can go into a limb or an extremity to get, because the goal would be to get the hands off of you. Right. And, um, you know, whatever it is that, that you need to accomplish in that moment, um, an offhand knife is right. the way to go. Um, or you can just be an all hand knife and just have knives everywhere. Well, that's true. <laughs> that actually happens. I think when I carry a fixed blade, I have four knives. <laughs> uh, I have four knives on me at a time. So, but um, yeah, I think we should move on to our honorable mentions. Yeah, and so an honorable mention, I think you know, beyond the way we were talking about carrying, is uh, you know, there's some versatility. Versatility. That's how you say it, right? Um, with carrying you know other fixed blades you've got neck knives you've got you know other belt loop options you've got front pocket fixed blades which is which we talked about in our fixed blades for edc video um and which you know this knife came out in that i have the se azula 2 here um which you know if i'm carrying this it still has a little bit of a tactical purpose because it is fixed um but in all honesty in all honesty it's not uh, a knife that i'm probably going to pull for fix but it yeah. could be used for that. So, so Same thing I with what you have. Yeah. So I chose the Spartan blades, um, and the biggest thing about this knife is that uh, the sheath retention mechanism is epic. Yeah, it's, it's cool. a small package, um, as you can see compared to the Microtech. It's seventy five percent. That seventy five percent makes a big difference. This is easy to conceal in any way. It doesn't flip away from your body mm -hmm. and stick out. Right. You don't hit weird angles with it. And it has this nice customizable belt, belt loop. So I do it inside the belt loop, canted this way for offhand carry. So it goes, this is behind the belt. So the belt will be here, right? And this secures the belt. So the belt will be my fingers and that would secure mm -hmm. the belt, right? And then the draw, it was um, one of my pastors at church came over and he was like, so you got any new cool knives? I'm like, yeah, check this out. And he was like, oh, but I could get that. I said, go ahead and get it then. <laughs> he went, I can't get it. I'm like, that's right, you can't get it. Because it actually locks. Um, and it actually has a spring-loaded um, locking mechanism, a button. And that is really cool. And I really fell in love with this because of that. And I can you know, give a shout-out to uh, Mark at Nashville Tactical Lounge. He said, check this out. I wish they all came with this. But it's only the entry level version of this that That's comes weird. with it. It's, I think it's because it's manufactured in Taiwan, and it's easier to manufacture these type of mechanisms and sheets uh, overseas. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably not many people are doing that in America. So it's like it's like it's America made Kydex here. Um, but anyway, so I, I I dug it because of that. Um, I, I I will say this. You know, from a, that's nice too because yeah. if you're in a, a, a crowded area, let's just say we're here in Nashville. So if you're on Broadway for some reason walking down, you know that's a little bit of security so someone don't come up and just try to snatch it. Which hopefully they don't even know you have it because yeah. you're concealing it. But worst case scenario, somebody ca catches a glimpse. You're going to be the only one who can pull that knife out because nobody's going to understand how to use it um, right off the bat. You yeah. know, it is not sharp, and I have sharpened it time and time again. So um, that is. That's a little disappointing about it, so know that when you get it. But um, what's happening is um, it is actually, believe it or not, plastic will dull your blade as fast or faster than cardboard. And that's basically what's happening is I can get a hair popping sharp and then I draw from the sheath a few times and the edge does hit that. And so it's a self-defense knife. It's not an EDC knife, so I'm not too worried about it um, because it stabs and goes like nobody's well, got business. that very severe harpoon. Too. And, and you're talking about no tension, you know, no tension here. And it is, it is taking out that paper. It is stabby and it's slicing. Um, but it just, it isn't sharp. It's a wedge. Oh, we got a little bit there, but that you can tell that that is not super duper sharp. It, it just, it just cuts. Yeah. Well, this one's got some. Yep. 
but this is uh, this has more EDC usability, I believe, than self defense. Uh, I mean, you could use it for that. You could open boxes with this, no problem. But hair shaving sharp? Nah, it's not gonna. It's a USA. What about a reverse cut? How's that? Yeah, the reverse cut's probably gonna be pretty nasty. Let's see. Well, it's okay. Let's see. let's check out what a Tonto might do. Yeah, a Tonto doesn't do it well either. Let's see what a clip point will do. Let's see just what a clip point will do. Just like it should. <laughs> Because a clip point is epic at back cuts. So, um, you know, there's a lot of philosophies to kind of talk about here. And we don't want the video to go on forever. I think you guys will kind of get the gist of it. But I would carry this um, pretty often. I want to find a way to carry this more often. I may not do this clip because it gets away from the body. Probably going to do the ulti clip and take this off. Um, but still use my uh, really cool Microtech. Uh, screws. The cool thing about this Ulti clip, and this is a, a kind of a cool little segue when we're talking about, you know, uh, urban carry, because you want good retention, right? You want something that is going to be able to handle the pull when you're pulling your knife. And the Ulti clip has got such a strong bite. I mean, it takes a little bit of effort to open this thing up. I mean, I really got to pull on it. So what that means is that your clip will be better than the retention of the sheath, which is really critical. Right. Um, because some fixed blade knives, which we did not choose those sheaths, have um, that kind of a money clip style mm -hmm. pocket clip. And the retention cannot be overcome. The retention overcomes the retention of the clip. For tactical needs, you must have a clip that is not overcome by the retention right. of the draw. Because you got to be able to pull that knife. you got to be able to pull the knife and the sheath stay in place. That's and, the whole purpose. You know, inside the waistband, a lot of people, I guess, could be a little bit concerned with inside the waistband just because they don't want to cut themselves or cut their pants. Um, that's why, if you notice where my clip is here, it's lower than my sheath. So this actually rides above my belt line, right? Um, because my belt's going through here. And it's got a really strong clip on this clip, so it's catching my belt. And when I pull it, I'm not worried about, you know, eating the end of that uh, blade there into my pants or whatever. And, uh, you know, putting it back, it's just like when you're reholstering uh, a pistol in the dark. Um, you know, a little bit of a finger on there. It's just like, uh, it's like reloading the magazine, right? You just got it with your finger right back in. Yep. And... Uh, you know, it's concealed. And I'll also say... Oh, did you say what this was? What's that? Did you say what your... Yeah, okay. SE Azula 2. Um, and you can make these SEs ridiculously sharp. Yes. This is actually... Well, that one's been removing some limbs, so it's not limbs of people, limbs of trees. This is actually um, really, really sharp on my thumbnail. It's actually catching my thumbnail really good, but it's pretty daggum toothy. And yeah. it's actually still really sharp. That might even be hair popping sharp. And that's after removing some pretty significant limbs off the Yeah, tree. so that's hair popping sharp. And you see me playing with it with paper. So this is, this has a, this, so when I sharpened this, I did not put a, I did sharpen this one, didn't I? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I think yeah. you just hit it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I put leather to the factory grind. The factory grind is toothy. See, that's really sharp, right? But if you don't get the angle quite right, it might catch a little bit, just a little bit, but that's because it's a toothy edge. But a toothy edge can still be ridiculously sharp, um, and uh, it is. It is very, very sharp. And the nice thing is about this is whatever they've done in the plastic sheath, it's not. It's not hitting itself and dulling. Right. And if you'll look, it actually where that finger choil comes up. And what's the price of this? Eighty bucks. Yeah, give or take. You, give can or take. Find, you can find them. For, this is 80 bucks as well. It does come with a cool little lanyard. I like that. Um, and I did the wrap myself. So um, this is a great self-defense knife. I highly recommend it. But if you're worried, if you want it to be like a razor blade, it's not going to be. It'll handle basic EDC tasks, but it's a wedge. Like It's very similar to the Cryptia. Yeah, it's a wedge. And wedge fixed blades are not... It's a dagger. They're daggers. They are not hair popping sharp. This right here, this has a really wide blade, and so it gets down to a really thin, fine edge. So it's just a little different yeah. philosophy. It's, well, it's more EDC of, yeah. of, of wide blade like yeah. that. This is um, this is for this is for plunging. Right. This is to go 
and uh, defend hands on your body. It would take the hand away from your body. So, you know, again, urban EDC. Yes. It's, uh, uh, you know, kind of self-defense minded. Yep. Concealed. Yep. Um, this is about as big as we'd go. Uh, we chose these for different reasons, obviously. Both of them are great choices. Yes, great um, choices. Honorable mentions. You know, we got a Spartan Blades. We got an SE here. And, uh, you know, you really can't go wrong with any of these. Yep. And, sure, folders are a great option, but as we saw with our fixed blades for EDC video, there's a lot of people who prefer fixed blades for everyday carry. Yeah, or at least they want to figure out how can I accomplish that and how can I get that done. Yeah. Um, and they do make higher ends. It's not AUS8 for about 150 bucks. It's domestic. Um, it's Kydex, and it's like maybe 154 CM or something like that. You can do your research on Spartan right. Blades, but their their design is 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 really really good for that self defense. I think so. And SE is really really good because You've got the ability to have 1095, all kinds of scales, easy to sharpen, right. easy to maintain that edge. The mounting is up to you. You can add one of yeah. those ulti clips, whatever. Yeah, actually, I used to carry, uh, for this knife specifically, I used to carry one of these yep. on it, a tech lock. So um, it's, it really varies. This could be a neck knife. This could be a neck knife. It could be a belt loop knife. It's, it's whatever you want. Um, front pocket, whatever. Yep. Um, but for a fixed blade for urban carry... This is about as big as we'd go. And all the descriptions of what these knives are will be in the description below. So if you want to check them out, check them out there. Um, and yeah, be on the lookout for our rural carry and our gentleman carry. Yeah, coming soon. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, different philosophies for those. And different, very, very different kind of knife for those. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, yeah, tell us what you think. Did we make a good choice on urban carry? Did there's, Was there something we didn't consider about urban carry for yeah. you guys who actually do more of the urban carry fixed blade? Or let us know. Did we talk too much? Yeah, so we'd love to hear about that. <laughs> Because that's what this is. This is a lot of our content is discussion yeah. oriented. And I hope you enjoy that. If not, please uh, also leave a comment about how bad that is. Um, we'd love to hear that as well. So. Yeah, we're always, you know, wanting to make strides and yep. give you guys better content. So. Always. Yes, thanks for watching. Yeah, stay sharp. Stay sharp.